Hello everyone, welcome to Networking Essentials Unit 3. In this unit, we will let you know the concept of circuit and circuit programming first. And after that, we will have the two types of circuit programming using UDP and TCP. Finally, we will have the frameworks of circuit programming. All right, that's all. This is the content contained in this unit. Introduction. Circuit programming. So, what's a circuit in networking? Actually, we call it a door. Door between the application process and the transport layer. All right. So, uh, if uh, we want to have the programming associated with uh, this kind of door, we call circuit programming. And so that we can go through the door and uh, then the packet go through the internet. So it is the circuit programming scenario like this. Types of uh, circuit programming. We have uh, two types. One is unreliable datagram and the other is reliable bus string oriented. Uh, so we have uh, these two types and the uh, first one unreliable. So we will use datagram using a name later to define the uh, circuit for the UDP programming. And the TCP actually we will use string and define the circuit for TCP. Circuit programming with uh, UDP. First of all, UDP provide the service without connection. So no connection between the client and the server. Therefore, no handshaking. And sender send uh, the datagram with uh, the IP and uh, the poll number. So actually datagram, we can have a poll first and later uh, within the packet, we will have an IP address there. And the receiver can receive the messages through using the IP address and poll number from the receive packet. Because of uh, no connection and also because of uh, no further uh, treatment, so transmitted data may be lost or received out of order. From the viewpoint of uh, the application, should we use UDP? Actually, we provide some possible service, of course, it's yes. And so I keep going with the TCP, and TCP actually need to have uh, uh, the connection and server need to run first and so that server can welcome client to connect and client then can uh, connect to the server so it should create TCP socket of course so both server and uh, the client need to create sockets well for the client side create a socket and then need to establish to the server socket for sure. All right, so for the server when creating the socket, then it will wait there for welcome the content from the client. All right, so for TCP actually, uh, it is a reliable one, so we can treat it as string version and uh, seems to be a pipe. Well, so right now, let us have for the example for illustration of a circuit programming. The problem here is really simple. We just want to king and then we send it to the uh, to the server and the server will change the case to the upper case and then send it back to the client. And that is, so this is a problem specified. So if uh, we use UDP, what to do? Here we have uh, the corresponding name. We have a socket, but how to distinguish UDP? We use SOC datagram. Previously we have a datagram, so we can use this to have uh, the way to specify UDP. And this one actually in indicate IPv4 version 4. All right. And both sides need to create socket. So we have a server socket, we have a client socket. And then we can have uh, the server socket. 
Alright, so for each one do each thing and then this is the some necessary steps so the UDP socket programming. For TCP actually we have a stream but this time we don't show all the details but need to ask the server start before the uh, client socket to connect. Alright, so we have uh, uh, the server socket. And server socket need to accept the connection from the client for sure. Alright, so. Alright, takeaways. We have uh, the discussion about the concept of uh, socket in networking. Using that concept, then we can enable socket programming. And in fact, we have uh, two types of uh, socket programming. TCP, UDP. One is the reliable socket programming and UDP is the unreliable socket programming. Based on the socket programming and we can have uh, the framework for TCP and UDP. Okay, that's it. So this is a short course, you need three. And that's it. If you want to see more video, you can browse the link here. Okay, that's it, and see you. This is the end of uh, this unit. Thank you for watching.